Rojan Ladon of the Philippines now going up against Amarit Yaudam. And this is in the men's flyweight division. And our judges from Taipei, China, United Arab Emirates, Indonesia, and Japan. And another duel between the Philippines and Thailand fighters, coming right up. This is in the men's flyweight division. First, 52 kilograms, a total of nine contenders, and only two remain standing. And first up city, is the contender from the Philippines, Rogen Ladon from Baco City, Negros Occidental, Southern Philippines, 26 years old. And he won a silver medal in the Southeast Asian Games in 2015. He participated in the 2016 Olympics, and he took a silver medal in the 2018 Asian Games. That's Rogen Ladon. So looking for his first goal in the Southeast Asian Games, but he'll be going up against the Thai fighter. And this is Amarit Yao Dam. Amarit Yao Dam now making his entry in the blue today in his flyweight championship bout against the Filipino Rojan Ladon. 27 years old. His first Southeast Asian Games outing. And this year, at the Eindhoven Cup in the Netherlands, took the silver medal. He's had 40 fights since 2012, and he trains an average of 24 hours a week. That's Amarit, 27 years old, of Thailand, right there. His previous performances, right. including one referee, Stop contest. Ladies and gentlemen, this is scheduled for three rounds in the events. And now the Mongolian referee giving the final instructions to the fighters here in the men's flyweight division. Amarit Yaudam of Thailand in blue going up against Rojan Ladon of the Philippines in red. Gold medal at stake. And the Filipino Rojan Ladon is the southpaw in this matchup. And so far, Thailand is undefeated in the finals. This is the fourth contest in today's 13-fight bill. All finals, all with a gold medal at stake. Rogan Ladon, he's a master craftsman. His defense, excellent. The way he's able to spin away from his opponents while catching them off guard, the way he moves around the ring, side to side movement then stopping to be able to throw combinations darting away making it difficult for his opponent to find a stationary target Rogen Ladon look at the generalship the ring mastery that he's showing so far in this fight the Thai fighter is reduced to chasing after Ladon Ladon is claiming that he got hit. Well, he did. He got, the hit. This again. He got hit again. <laughs> right in front of the Mongolian referee. And the Thai resorting to some rough housing. There's the first warning of that nature. I'm sure that won't be the last one. Good connections there coming from Ladon of the Philippines. Yadam is not able to find the range. And Ladon is finding the range. Ladon dropping his guard, going full out offense here. In the first round, we're just halfway through the first. Another one-two for the Filipino. Accurate punching here by Rajen Ladon. But even more impressive is the way he's moving around the ring. A series of hits to the head. Now warning for pushing down for the Thai fighter, Amarit Yao Dam. Always throwing a combination. 1-2, Rogen Ladon, the Thai fighter, looking a little bit frustrated at this stage. Amarit, look at him. He's missing, man missing badly. You can't hit what you can't catch. And, and there's a takedown. Rogen Ladon is like a phantom in the ring. Ladon is, actually he was the one who threw down. Right. 
the Thai fighter, but look at the way he back stepped to avoid getting hit. So oh, Adam cannot yeah. find a target. You cannot hit, but you cannot catch. He's missing badly, even from oh. close range. Body shot there coming from Roger Nadon of the Philippines. Final 10 seconds of the round. Shots to the back of the head here by the Thai fighter. And now a push called on Nadon as round one comes to an end. And the Thai fighter looks confused. He went over to his corner. With a, look at his look. He's asking the Cuban coach Juan Fontanils, what am I going to do to get my offense going? There was no offense because Ladon just mounted shots of his own. And every time the counter came, Ladon was able to slip away. We expect to see some adjustments from Thailand heading into the second round. But again, the impressive footwork. And there's that loaded uppercut that lands in the midsection of Amarit Yao Dam of Thailand. And the previous results of Roger Ladon. A split decision over Aldon Suguro and a 5-0 count in the second fight. And the coach Ronald Chavez giving Ladon a friendly slap on the face. Amari needs to be able to regroup. He lost the first round rather convincingly. And for Roger Ladon, he's got to be able to sustain the pace. Stay on top of the situation and not allow Yao Dam to control this fight. He's just spinning Yao Dam around right now. And connecting with those combinations. You mentioned ring generalship. Yao Dam needs to have a solid punch and just put him in place. But again, you cannot hit what you cannot catch. He's a phantom. He's a phantom in the ring. And we're talking of Roger Ladon. Timeout called by our Mongolian referee, it appears. There might be perhaps a cut or could be a loose tape. No, it, there is a cut. Yeah, it's right above the eyebrow, the right eyebrow as well. Not quite sure if that came from a headbutt because it is a southpaw versus an orthodox fighter going at it. Ringside physician says okay, but he took a really, really close look at that cut suffered by the Thai fighter Amarit. Rajan Ladon connecting with the right hand. You know, not too many fighters can throw punches on the back foot. Amazing. And Roger Ladon is showing how it's done. And Another then... take down. And Ladon's starting to have enough of these tactics by the Thai fighter. And he's actually, the one yeah, called actually, for the warning. The Thai fighter comes charging and he holds him and then Ladon brings him down. This See if he does it again this time. A lot of wrestling going on. Well, Greco-Roman wrestling is a medal event <laughs> in the Southeast Asian Games. And every punch connected by Ladon, the crowd in the PICC Forum tent goes bananas. You know, he, more impressive than Ladon's offense is his defense. The ability to slip away from punches. And that's a bunch of illegal shots they're thrown. Well, the Thai fighter is looking very frustrated. And he's not able to land squarely at all. His accuracy level is probably down to like 10%. And Roger Ladon is hitting so accurately. Now the uh, attacks by the Thai fighter. And again, the miss. Down by Yao Dan, and then the connection by Rajan Ladon. Look at the way he ducks underneath those punches. And then the side-to-side -side movement. Yao Dan is chasing him around. More holding for the two fighters. <laughs> it's Ladon who keeps getting warned though. You know, seconds, yeah. But when Ladon just stands up, he gets hit. So the key here, oh. oh, beautiful left hand coming from Ladon. And another left hand. And then the movement around the ring. 
When Ladon stands still, he gets hit. But if he's moving, he's like a ghost in the ring. And the Filipino crowd understands this. We have our table tennis team as, there, as well there. As we see this again. And Ladon's style is perfect for the amateurs. I don't think he has a future as a professional. Not with the way he's fighting. His fighting style is just perfect for the Southeast Asian Games, for the Asian Games, for the Olympics. And look at the way he's shooting at Amarit and connecting. Well, he did represent the Philippines in the 2016 Olympics in Rio de Janeiro. And the puzzled look continues. And now he's getting a tongue lashing from his corner. It's a look of bewilderment on the face of Amarit as he's just one round away from losing this gold medal match. Now Amarit looking aggressive. He came out, oh, connected that time with the combination. And pa, and he uh, came out smoking in this third round. Ladon had to clinch for a moment. Ladon got hit. He got smacked. Again, well, as we were saying, if Ladon is not moving, he's going to get hit. He needs to stay on his feet, on his toes. Thailand already winning two gold medals in the boxing finals today. Several warnings now. Now he better be careful because he may be slapped the one point deduction. And Ladon needs to show some offense. Again, ducking too low according to our Mongolian referee. Right now it's a slugfest. Yeah. They're standing toe to toe. That's a dangerous situation for Ladon because it allows Amarit the opportunity to score. Ladon getting hit. Ladon looks mid tired. Yeah. He looks tired. He looks like he's winded. Ladon has to throw some punches to seal this one. So he just can't move away. He just, oh, there he goes again. There we go again. It, it's Ladon who's actually pulling him down. And that's another warning coming from the referee. That's the third time Ladon has pulled that trick. Very patient referee from Mongolia. <laughs> yes. Because at this point, one of these two fighters should already been penalized. Ladon trying to hold on again, and there down he is. goes again. That time it might have been the Thai who pushed him down. And that's why the Thai gets a caution. One minute to go in this interesting battle. It's a tactical battle. Yeah. And Ladon keeps on sniffing. It's almost like he's got a cold or a runny nose. That might be the case. There have been some athletes who have gone under the weather here in the Philippines of late. And Ladon again going down. Final 30 seconds. And the judges have seen a lot of that. Warning for holding, but no points being deducted. And time ticking away right here. Could be another takedown here. Ladon is actually holding on. He might get a point deduction. No, but fight is almost over. And that's music to the ears of Roger Ladon. He did throw too many, too many punches in this third round, but he might have done enough in the first two rounds to win this. But Amarit thinking that he also won this fight. Well, Amarit, Yao Dam might have taken that third round with all of the stoppages. But again, did he also do enough in the first or second round? The first round, obviously, going to the Filipino. So it'll all come down to how they viewed that second round to determine the gold medal in this one. Ladon like might have done enough. I thought he won the second round as well, but that third round was rather iffy for him. Ladon hardly threw anything. There's a lot of holding there, so it'll be in the hands Ladies of the judges now. Who will get the gold players. medal in the men's flyweight division?
After three rounds of exciting men's flyweight action, we go to our scorecards. And your winner, via unanimous decision. It's a unanimous decision. A men's flyweight gold medal. From the red corner. And there it is. Roger Ladon has done it. He has clinched the second gold medal for the Philippines in boxing in the Southeast Asian Games. A well-deserved victory for the master craftsman who ran out of wind a little bit in the third round but did enough in the first two rounds to win this. And the silver medal going to Amarit Yaldam. As we can see, the scores there totally outclassed according to the judges. Roger Ledon. We call it the master craftsman because of the way he controlled the action in the ring. He just made Amarit continuously miss he was a phantom in the ring but he also did enough offensively to get it done and a hug coming from the Australian coaching consultant Don Abnet another hug coming from Ed Pixon the Federation the Philippine Federation Secretary General I thought he was gonna give him a kiss <laughs> well of course he will now Roger Ladon now joins Carlo Paalam as the second gold medalist for the Philippines. And the Philippines has gone two for three so far in the finals here in the boxing competition.